So hello guys, welcome back to AutoCAD tutorials. In today's session, we are going to see how to make format of BBS in Excel. We are taking today's tutorial since one of our subscriber requested to show how we can add formulas in Excel sheet to make it completely automated. So to begin with, we have four conditions of slab depending upon its continuity. The first case is the slab may be discontinuous on the right hand side or it may be continuous on the right hand side. The other possible case are slab may be continuous on the left hand side or it may be discontinuous on the left hand side. So first we will see the example for reinforcement starting from right hand side. So we have to make an Excel sheet which automatically detects whether our reinforcement will be continuous or discontinuous on the right hand side. So for that, let us see in our PPT how we have to work with. So BBS for slab starting from right hand side. What we have to do is first we have to apply an if statement. If there is a slab is at right or not. So this if statement will check the continuity. So how we will check the continuity using if statement. In our Excel sheet, we can see that I have made four columns. Slab at left, beam at left, slab at right, beam at right. These four columns will help us in identifying whether we have a continuity of the slab towards right or left. As you can see in this cell, I have marked zero. Means slab at left is zero. This indicates that we don't have continuity of slab on the right hand side. And when we see slab at right hand side, I have marked here as 900. This indicates that we have a slab of width 900 mm towards right hand side. So how we can check this condition with if statement. So we are working for the right hand side reinforcement. So I will check the condition for right hand side only. So I will take an if statement if my slab towards right is zero means I don't have continuity of the slab towards right hand side. So what we have to do if we don't have slab towards right hand side is we will see in our PPT. So if we don't have a slab towards right hand side, what we have to do is first we have to add beam width towards right minus cover of slab. We can see this thing in our drawing as well. This is the case of reinforcement starting from right hand side, but it is discontinuous or it is not traveling in adjacent slab. So what we have done is beam width minus cover. As you can see, this rectangle indicates this whole particular length is our column A. So first we have what we have to do is beam width minus cover. So in our Excel, first we will check. We have checked if this is zero, then what we have to do is we have to do beam width minus cover. Then we have to add. Now what we have to add is we will see in our PPT. What we have to add is subtracting the distance of slab by depth minus two into cover from L by seven. To see this more specifically, we will switch to our drawing file where it is written more clearly. As we can see here, we have taken beam width minus cover. So we have taken this particular distance. Now for remaining portion, what we have to do is L by seven minus slab depth minus two into cover. Also, when we will see here at bottom, I have indicated a distance of L by seven here. From this L by seven distance, I have to subtract slab depth minus two into cover to get this whole complete length. So what we will do is we have added here plus sign. What we will do is now length of the slab divided by seven. Now what we have to do further is minus slab depth minus two into cover minus bracket slab depth minus two into cover. Then what we have to do is slab depth minus two into cover then simply close the bracket. Now this was the condition when we don't have anything on right hand side. So the second part of if statement will take care of if we have continuity on the right hand side. So what we have to do if we have continuity on the right hand side, we will see this example. We have to add a distance of L by four of the slab towards right hand side. So this rectangle marks 
my whole column a for my if my slab is continuous on the right hand side so what i have to do is first i have to add a distance of l by 4 so i will go in my excel sheet again i will add a distance of this 900 by 4 plus i have to add beam width of 160 then i will add beam width of 160 towards right then what i have to again do is i have to add l by 4 and i have to subtract slab depth minus 2 into cover from it again the same terminology plus slab length by 4 slab length divided by 4 minus slab depth minus 2 into cover now i'll close the back bracket so this marks my complete a column working so what i have got answer here is 587.50 and if i will check in my drawing as well for this condition i have made this cutting length below I can get this length as 587. Now, in tab B, what we have to enter in tab B? B marks our crank length. As we can see over here, this is our crank length. This becomes our column B. So here, I have specified a detail A, which shows crank length. So here is our detail A. What this specifies as, this detail is 1.42 into slab depth minus 2 into cover i'm really sorry this is not c but this is my b so what it specifies is 1.42 into slab depth minus 2 into cover so what i will write here is 1.42 into slab depth minus 2 into cover so this marks my crank length now what condition C specifies this. Again, we have to use if statement here because why we have to use if statement? If my slab is continuous towards right hand side, then I have to deduct L by 4. This complete length rectangle marks my length C over in our Excel sheet. So, what we have to do is we have to subtract L by 4 from complete length if my slab is continuous on the right hand side. But if my slab is not continuous on the right hand side, then what I have to do is I have to deduct the length of L by 7. So again, we will check here a condition. If my slab is not continuous on the right hand side. So I will again specify here as 0. If it is not continuous on the right hand side, then what I have to do is I have to deduct L by 7 from the whole length of the slab. So from whole length, I will deduct L by 7. Then what I have to do is I have to simply add beam on the left hand side minus cover. So now what I will do is beam on the left hand side minus cover. Now what if my statement is true? If I will have a continuity on the right hand side, then what I will do is again, we will see this case. We will subtract the distance of L by 4 from complete slab length. So what I will do is complete slab length minus L by 4. Now what again I have to add is this beam on the left minus cover beam on the left minus cover. So this completes my second if statement as well. So I will just hit a tab over here. So I have got this length as 857.50. So now again when I will switch to my drawing and I will check this condition I will get this length as 858. So in this way, we have to clear our logic and then we have to enter our formula in Excel sheet to make it completely formulated. So depending on any case, whether the slab is at left or slab is at right, it will automatically adjust our condition. Now, also we have two bends over here, one and two. So we will deduct two times the diameter of the steel to work out for bend deduction. So whether it is continuous on the left hand side or right hand side, we have two bends in each case. So in this case, so in this way, we add our formula in Excel. So now other example we will take for steel from left hand side. Again, when we talk about left hand side, we have two conditions. 
स्लैब में भी कंटिन्यूस ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड और इट में भी सॉरी इट में भी डिसकंटिन्यूस ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड और इट में भी कंटिन्यूस ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो अगेन वी विल डू द सेम थिंग व्हाट वी हैव डन इन अर्लियर केसेस वी हैव चेक आवर कंडीशन विद एवरीथिंग ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड नाउ वी विल चेक आवर स्लैब ऑन द लेफ्ट सो व्हाट आई विल डू इज इफ माय स्लैब एट लेफ्ट इज डिसकंटिन्यूस दैट इज इफ इट इज जीरो सो व्हाट आई हैव टू डू इज व्हेन स्लैब इज discontinuous so i will see this drawing what i have to do is in our column a what i have to add is beam width minus cover so first of all i will specify beam towards left minus cover then again add now what we have to add is remaining distance l by 7 minus slab depth minus 2 into cover since it is discontinuous we have to do l by 7 minus slab depth minus 2 into cover now close the bracket so this completes your first part now in second part if our slab is continuous so what we have to do is comma our formula will start with l by 4 that is slab at left divided by 4 plus second thing is beam width you have to add beam width on the left hand side then what you have to do is you have to subtract slab depth minus 2 into cover from l by 4 now since our slab is continuous on the left hand side l by 4 will be used so l by 4 minus slab depth minus 2 into cover so this completes my first case of column a now again our column b is crank length so i will just copy paste this formula downwards now further when we will take final length our length c marked in this and our length in this case this so what i have to do is first of all if my slab is discontinuous on the left hand side i have to deduct a length of l by 7 from my complete span of length so again we will check if my slab is discontinuous on the left hand side then subtract a distance of l by 7 from my complete slab then add a distance of beam width minus cover beam at right minus cover now if my slab is continuous on the left hand side then what the case will be let us see over here what we have to do is we have to subtract a distance of l by 4 from the complete span of length then again complete length minus l by 4 then again what we have to do is we have to add beam width minus cover so again what we will do is we will simply do beam at right minus cover and again we will close the bracket so this marks end of our column number c so in this way we can add our formula in excel sheet to make it completely formulated so i hope you like this video and if you like this video please do like share and subscribe and be with us for more upcoming videos on excel and autocad thanks a lot